How's it going guys and welcome back to the Card Fathers. This is Anthony here and today we have another opening and uh, I guess showing as well. So today we have these packs of 2021 Heritage. They just released about less than a month ago and um, I got these from Target. They're, you got like a four pack bundle for 20 bucks only. So then this is like what, 30 bucks worth of product. And uh, I mean, I haven't seen like crazy hits come out of these. Opened a couple and we hit like a uh, Matt Chapman bat. And then there's some like in action Dylan Carlson rookie. Um, but the real reason we're doing it on video is because we're paying tribute. This whole set pays tribute to the 1972 set, which we do have. So this is what the packs look like today. And here's a graded one here. Uh, this is actually OPG, but it's the same sort of deal. So pretty cool. So they're going to keep all the same similar subsets in here. So 1972, this is the set right here. Uh, and I move this. This was a 787 card set, which at the time was like the biggest set of all. 1971 was pretty big. It was 752 cards, but this took the rain. So there's like different subsets like league leaders and trophy winners in actions or my favorite is the the boyhood uh boyhood photos of stars so it's basically like pictures of them when they were in little league so they also have those in here as well so you'll get to see a couple of those hopefully and then um like the major ones in here were let's see i think like card 89 where is that go back oh right here so this is a. Uh, a triple card, this is 1972 Rookie Stars. That'll be Carl Yastrzemski's Rookie. So that's like the most well-known card in the set right there. Um, pretty cool. I mean, that's the real one. And this whole set, if you were to collect the whole set, which this is one, it runs about like $1,500 on uh, eBay now. I just checked the comps this morning. And then also like a well-known card. You can see like the nice colors. Some pretty nice condition cards. So they've been in here ever since. Um, Card like five, five ninety. I want to say we're getting there. Five ninety four, right here. So here's Nolan Ryan. It's actually not his rookie. His rookie is the nineteen sixty eight one, where he's on like a double card with the Mets. But this card sells for like forty dollars raw right there. And all of these are in cool shapes. I wish I could find a little childhood. There's, they even have like trophy cards. That's why there's so many in here. But overall, like super cool, colorful cards. They don't make them like they used to, and since they don't, they're gonna copy them. So let's go ahead and open them up. I'll show you exactly what the boyhood ones are like. I'm gonna try to collect that set, I think it's cool. It's basically just pictures of Little League. Um, yeah. So there's 20 cards per pack, and we have six packs today. And there's also puzzles. See, this is the back of a card, and uh, like six there's different puzzles and it takes six of these cards there's a different like image like boom 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 and uh you make a like a basically a picture from the back of the cards so right off the bat we have harper seth lugo arreas hendrix but definitely looking just like it like see this would be like uh the 1972 uh red sock one this would be the night 2021 sorry but for Astros. So same thing as the Carlton Fisk, but same design. Yanny Diaz, Arrieta, Clemente gets a lot of throwbacks in here. And here's the boyhood. This is what I was talking about. So here's Matt Olson, which is, oh no, Matt Chapman. So this is him when he was young. He actually was on the A's as a little leaguer and they put a photo of him when he was in Little League. So I think these are awesome. Like a cool set to have. You don't really see any more of that, but pretty cool. And then um, here's another one. This one just happens to be a rookie. That was him when he was on also the A's. I was on the A's as well. But he's on Kansas City now. Aaron Nola, Solaire. So these are in action ones. Dylan Carlson. So that's a in action rookie card. I don't know why he's shaking so much. There we go. Patrick Corbin and Jackie Bradley Jr. So like I said, there is autographs. You can get like an Acuna autograph. I've seen Nolan Ryan autographs. Uh, I think Hank Aaron even has it. I'm open two at a time. Save some time here. Uh, 
I've opened a couple. That's why I got to show you some of those before. So there, watch, uh, here's a double. Christian McKenzie, those are both rookie pitchers. Yelich. Frank Crawford, Lazardo, rookie last year. Supposed to be pretty good. Another Clemente, and here's a Luis Garcia. He's supposed to be really good for the Nationals, and that's his rookie card. Give him a look if you don't already know him. Alberto, Miguel Rojas, Spell. I don't know what happened to him. Lou Bob, he's still a great card to have, second year here. And they have the awards ones like you saw before. Here's a guy that is on fire and absolutely crushes the Yankees. His baseball card is insane in value right now. Go take a look on eBay one of those, it's ridiculous right now. Clayton Kershaw. Uh, who we got? Kevin Pillar showing off his tattoo there. McCutcheon on the Phillies. Another Clemente, Bramlo. So as you can see, there's nothing like crazy popping out. Here's a Lazardo boyhood. So we add that to my set that I'm trying to complete. Anthony Rizzo, there's a hilarious video of him the other day chasing down Freddie Freeman. That was awesome. He got caught in a pickle and he was just yelling his name, running at him. Kyle Lewis, here's a top all-star rookie trophy. Cole. Santander, Evan White, that's in action rookie as well. I mean, you could get a jersey card. I searched up the odds. It's on, it's pretty slim. I mean, I only got 12 packs. We hit one, but the odds are one in every 78. So it's not good. <clears throat> so well, we got three packs here. There's two of them right here. Joe Adele. And Nick Madrigal are both great rookies this year. I don't know why it doesn't say the rookie symbol, but those are both rookies. It's not an error card. It's just they didn't do it. Yeah, I'll get you a better look there. But those guys are both going to be great this year. Joe Gonzalez. Okay, we're just hitting White Sox after White Sox here. Dustin May. Oh, here's something. <clears throat> this is like the first time I've ever hit a Chrome card. It's numbered. Kyle Schwarber. Out of $9.99. Chrome. So it's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a lot shinier. All right. And more of the Clemente. Low. Glau. Jesus Lara, the same one. Kai Lewis, different in action. 2020 strikeout leaders. So there's uh, Garrett Cole, Shane Bieber. And Gilao, he had the no-hitter. Cronenworth, great Padre. There's not many cards of him out there. He's going to be great in value. His auto is in 2021 Inception. I want to get that. I think I actually have one. I don't know where it is, but it's a great. He's going to be a great player. Alec Baum, like the hottest rookie of the year, probably, in the 2021 set. Cole. Zach Wheeler, Talkman. Pineda, JD, there's more Whit Merrifield, we'll add that to the Boyhead collection, Victor Reyes, Tigers, I don't know any of them actually, uh, we got the postseason, Alec Baum in action, rookie card, so that's a nice one, put that aside, and we got one more pack here to show off, but yeah, super cool to like, I don't know, I just see cards recreated and just how like similar the packs are. I just love like the look of the, old, the old and more vintage style. So anything before 1980 is considered vintage in the sports card industry. So, uh, and then after that would be modern. And then ultra modern is like a new term that PSA coined from 2017 and beyond. Grassman, Wheeler. So a lot of repeat cards here. Um, the set's not too big, so we probably could collect it after a couple more. Um, but like I said, nothing crazy, nothing, no big hits are going to stand out here. All right. And we got Zach Davies, Trey Turner, Zach Godley. This doesn't even say his name. That's interesting. All right. And we'll end with McCutcheon in action. So yeah, I just wanted to get a little different type of video show off like an older set we have. We have multiple sets here and, uh, they never get any love because I just... 
people like to see me open more cards. I will show off more. Um, I am recording this video before I post my NBA Prism, which comes in today. That video will go up today to celebrate our one year, which is today. Um, it's been great, guys. Thank you for all watching. And uh, stay tuned for our Prism video. Thanks. Bye.